and she, that woman was there, helpless, paralyzed, could not take any, any move at all. And then we prayed. After the prayer, come on, see miracle, miracle, miracle. And so all the people, they clapped, they rejoiced, they had flowers, they threw flowers on me, they put flowers in my pocket, they put flowers in my hand, and I was full of flowers. Praise the Lord. For the problem, that woman paralyzed, 25 years, was still there. And we then said the final grace, and we said the meeting is over, and as the people were walking out, and it looked at that woman, 25 years paralyzed, and she looked at them, power came unto her. She rose up. She began to walk. And great, great pandemonium of miracle happening there. And I didn't know about it. But the people there, Pentecostal Union of Russia in Moscow, the Moscow branch, they invited me back. That happened in June. They invited me back in October. And then I was introduced. I was holding the mic and I was starting to preach. I'd not really started, but just introducing the message. And somebody from the back of the hall, the same parliamentary building, rose up. And then was walking. I was surprised. I said, why? What are the ushers doing? Why is it they allow this woman to just be coming? There's still security here. And then she climbed the stage. I was wondering. I kept on talking because you must not show that, you know, you are wondering about something. And then she came to me while I was preaching. And she didn't say, excuse me, sir. She just stretched her hand and took the microphone from me. I said, today is today. And then she started talking. She said, you people here, you know me. I was paralyzed for 25 years. And when this pastor came four months ago in June, the people were passing, I got up. And since then, I have been walking. And he gave the testimony. And then, when the people heard, they knew that something good was about to happen to them. And as you have heard, you know something good is about to happen to you. Because that Christ is still alive. That Jesus is still alive. Is the Prince of Peace. In Isaiah chapter 9, I'm reading from verse 6. Isaiah chapter 9, we're reading from verse 6. For unto us, unto us, not unto them alone, not only unto the Jews, unto us Jews and Gentiles, unto us men and women, unto us who are living today, unto us that live on the face of the earth, unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. He gave himself for us on the cross of Calvary, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. The government of your life, the government of your family will be upon his shoulder and whatever challenge you have he'll carry it away from you tonight in jesus name and his name shall be called wonderful the wonderful one will do wonders in your life tonight in jesus name he'll be called counselor the wisdom you didn't have before to come out of this dungeon and come out of this danger that counselor will bring the wisdom you'll come out tonight in jesus name if the mighty god the mighty god that never lost any battle the battle of your life he'll fight it for you tonight you will overcome in jesus name if the everlasting father there is no one that has lived on this earth from the time the world was created until this time that christ did not know about because it's everlasting is the father of eternity and the prince of peace. Peace he'll bring to your heart. 
power he'll bring to your life a change he'll make in your life transformation in your soul in your spirit in your body will come to you tonight in jesus name look at verse 7 in verse 7 it says of the increase of his government increase of his government increase of his government what does that mean he's still open opening the door and he says you can still come in you can still come in increase of his government it will rule out every evil power in your life you say am i not late because other people have been saved other people have come in other people have believed other people have got the goodness of the lord of the grace of god am i not late no you are not late you can still come in today because his kingdom is increasing the increase of his government and of peace there shall be no end upon the throne of david and upon his kingdom to order it it will order your life it will straighten out your life anything that is upside down the lord will put it the right side up and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth from henceforth from now even forever and the zeal of the lord of hosts shall perform this performance in your life tonight salvation in your life tonight forgiveness in your life tonight healing in your life tonight miracle in your life tonight in jesus name are you there i said are you there what are you you will be part of the increase of his kingdom it will take you in. It will forgive your sin. It will change your life. It will turn everything good for the better in your life tonight in Jesus' name. It's about a nice close. Your time has come. Say, my time has come. Say it, my time has come. For the young, for the old, for the men, for the women, for the fathers, for the mothers, for the sons, for the daughters, for the up, for the low, everyone, my time has come. It's about eyes closed. The Lord is inviting you now, and you have something to do that you will come unto him, and whosoever cometh unto me, I will in no wise cast out is calling you now and if you're giving your life to the lord and you're saying yes i want that transformation i want that new life i want that forgiveness and i'm going to repent i'm going to turn to the lord with all my heart all my soul and all my mind wherever you are wherever you are raise up that hand amen amen and amen that's the man there that's the woman there that's the boy that's the girl there raise up that hand and say lord i've heard and i want to come into the kingdom right now and i want to be part of the increase of your government and i want your peace in my heart i want your forgiveness in my life raise up that hand now you're coming to christ what joy what privilege and what great opportunity for you as we're raising up your hand here at the alpha location and there online over the radio and there over the television anywhere where you are raise up that hand now the lord has seen that hand stand up wherever you are you stand up now and you are indicating i am for the lord now i am for jesus now if the prince of peace he'll give me peace he'll give me rest he'll restore me restoration if you're backslider and you're coming to the lord now so that his salvation will be yours his forgiveness will be yours and his eternal life will be yours even tonight raise up your hand and stand up wherever you are as you're standing up tell the lord lord i come out of darkness i come to the light i come away from the prince of perdition and i come to the prince of peace i come away from the god of this world and i come to the god of 
heaven to change my life to transform my life lord i turn away from my evil and i turn to the gracious goodness of the lord for me today lord save me forgive me i will no more go back to all those evil things I've left behind, all those things that were gained for me, I count them as dung and dross and wholeheartedly. My soul, my spirit, my body, my life, I come unto Christ and unto Christ alone. Keep on standing. I'll be praying with you right now. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for your love and for your mercy. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him will not perish but have everlasting life i pray for all these i pray you forgive all their sins in jesus name take the condemnation away from them and take the powerlessness and the hopelessness of people without christ take that and that helplessness hopelessness away from them in jesus name Give them, Lord, a refreshing, a rest, a restoration, redemption in the soul of everyone. Write their names in the book of life right now. And let there be a practical change, a powerful change, and a visible change that everybody can see that now he she has come to the Lord as is our personal Savior. Confirm your forgiveness and salvation in every heart right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That salvation is there now. We call on uh, moderating overseer tonight to lead us in this time of counseling. I'll be coming back like the Lord raised up and heal that Korean woman and that Moscow woman that Lord is still here. He'll touch you and heal you tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Congratulations. Something good has happened to you tonight. Heaven is rejoicing because of you. Angels are celebrating because of you. Heaven is giving you a welcome hand into the kingdom of God. You are part of the increase of God's kingdom. Our counselors are there. Supply the necessary information and ensure those information are correct. Because now, as we pray for you, the prayer will meet you, the very address that you are giving now. Your telephone number, make sure is correct. Because as you receive messages on your telephone, it shall be messages of wonders and miracles. So make sure you give us the correct one because messages will be coming to you. As you open it like this, you are opening to your miracle. Every test you receive from the counselors will be a test of blessing, of wonder, of testimony. Those who have been saved, we say amen on behalf of these people. I can't hear your amen. amen. So please, uh, counselors, let's go everywhere. Ensure that we capture everyone. Because it is very important. As we are writing their names now, heaven is writing their names in the book of life. If you are watching online, you will see a particular link below. Copy the link, 
fill it and send it immediately. If you are listening via radio and television, there is a number that is you can send your SMS. And you can take this number, plus 234 I take it again, plus 234 Just send your information to that line through WhatsApp as well. And let's listen to this. All those who have given their lives to the Lord on Thursday, on Friday, on Saturday, and the many that are giving their lives unto the Lord today, there's a special meeting for you tomorrow by 2.30 p.m. We call it Lunch Hour with Jesus, specially organized for you. Make sure you are there. Be there. You'll be taken care of physically as well. Preparation has been made for you. And special information will be given unto us. We'll be having special New Year rally. Everybody, you clap for all our converts from this program. <laughs> Special New Year rally for you. Those online, it's going to be on the 8th January, year 2023. What a wonderful way to begin the new year. That year will be a blessed year for you. And for all our converts in all over Ikiti State, in Ado Ikiti here, by 4 p.m. on the 8th of January, year 2023, there's going to be a special rally banquet for you in particular. 2023 is starting with banquet of joy for you. Every day will be a day of joy for you. Every week will be a week of joy for you. And every month of the year 2023 will be a month of joy for you in Jesus' name. Amen. So all those who gave their lives unto the Lord, there is this special converse rally and banquet for you on the 8th of January by 4 p.m. in Ajibandele campground here on this place. Then in all our region headquarters, the same time, 4 p.m., there will be a special banquet for you in all the locations. That year will be a blessed year for you. Any amen on their behalf? Amen. And you that you are saying amen 2023, a blessed year for you in Jesus' name. Our counselors want to find out in all the sections in the front here. Can we have the supervisors indicating if they are true? On my right hand side, you are true. Can we see the flag? Any hand there? All right. Close to the campus hall. You can still see some people dealing with some people there. Right at the back. Let's ensure everyone is captured. No one should be left out. Because heaven is rejoicing on their behalf now. 
And it's a blessed experience to be part of the family of God. What a wonderful family. What a glorious family. Heaven is welcoming you now. May the joy of salvation abide in your life in Jesus' name. Our counselors on the left-hand side, very close to the wall. Can we see whether you are through? In my front, at the back, far back. Any indication we are true? Can we see your hand? Let's see the flag if you are true. All right. Towards the back. Yes, on my right hand side. Are we true towards the youth hall and the main auditorium in front of the main auditorium at, uh, in front now? And the rest of us, let me be planning for access. Tonight will be supernatural explosion, miracle explosion, Pentecostal power explosion. So shall it be for you in Jesus' name. All right. I think we are prepared now. As our pastor is coming to the pulpit now to come and pray the miracle prayer for us. Your clapping is funny to me, like you're clapping in the village. Step it up. Step it up. 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 Miracle coming your way in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Elijah told his servant, already he told Ahab, there had been dryness for three and a half years. Now, the Lord said he was bringing rain, abundance, avalanche, great showers of blessing. And so he told Ahab, he said, get on your, char on your chariot because that rain you've been waiting for, for three and a half years, the rain is coming now. Yeah. Miracle rain, yeah. healing rain, yeah. deliverance rain. Yeah. And so Ahab started, I was riding, he said, run so that the rain will not disturb you and then he told the servant he said go look and see and the servant came back and said i see nothing ah today you must see something go back and look again second time i see nothing what kind of idea you have i told you have already there will be showers, abundance of rain. Go check up again. Third time, I see nothing. You keep on going and checking up. Number four, check up. I see nothing. No, I see it here in my spirit. The rain coming from heaven. The power coming from heaven. Go again. Fifth time, I see nothing. Why? I see. You don't see I see your miracle, you'll see your miracle. Yeah. I see your healing, you'll see your healing. Yeah. And a man came back and said, I see now. You will see now. Yeah. But you must check up. You must check up. You must be looking at that person, looking at that person, because your own will come to you express way. Yeah. Are you ready? After the final amen, you must check up. If uh, your eyes say, I see nothing, check up again. And don't leave that place. Don't leave that place and check up again. Tonight, you'll see the power of God upon your life. 
What are you? Raise up that hand and lay the other hand where you have the problem. The miracle is coming now. Healing is coming now. Deliverance is coming now. Signs and wonders coming upon your life tonight. You check up after the prayer online, over the radio, over the television, anywhere you are in any city, any country of the world. Miracle coming your way right now. Father, in Jesus' name. The name that never fails. The power that never fails. And we have the faith and the confidence that never fails. Lord, I pray, touch everyone. Transform everyone. Do miracle of healing, deliverance in everyone now. In Jesus' name. Those blind eyes now. At this very time be opened and begin to see the ears lord i pray you touch those ears now they'll begin to hear and those so have uh, tongues that cannot move or speak out that vo uh, that's a vocal cord be loose in jesus name I pray for those who have what you call terminal disease, stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four, that cancer be healed in Jesus' name. All sat there be healed in Jesus' name. That breathing problem, you couldn't breathe well, you're trying to breathe, and you're almost suffocating, be released right now. And I pray that you breathe well, be healed in Jesus' name. I pray for those who have that impediment and that kidney, kidney stone. Lord, I pray, remove that stone right now. That sharp pain, any part of your body, be delivered and healed in Jesus' name. That demonic problem, that evil spirit problem, I command that demon clear out of that place in Jesus' name. Lord, from the top of the head to the tip of the toe, everyone, sickness, come out. Disease, come out. Pain, come out. Let impossibilities be possible right now in Jesus' name. You are healed. You are delivered. And the Lord has set you free tonight in Jesus' name. Miracle there. Healing there. Deliverance there. Signs and wonders there. A confirmation in every life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. It is done. It is done. Amen. Check up yourself, check up yourself, check up yourself. Your miracle is there. Don't say I see nothing, check up again. Don't say I can't feel it, check up again. Your healing is there tonight. I'm on reaching over Sarah, please. Your healing is there already. No noise, no noise, no noise. The power of God has been sent down from heaven. Just check your own. If you check in, you don't see, check again, check again. All over the camp, everywhere, the power of God is moving now. Just quietly begin to check. You brought somebody blind, testing, you discover it's in the light. You brought somebody who is deaf or dumb, talk to him, he will respond. If somebody having a, a lame leg, let him rise up and begin. So begin to check now. Check, 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 check over. On those, who, those who have listened online, on the radio, on television, on YouTube, on the social media, check your own miracle right there and send information down to us. The Lord has done it tonight. It's a time of great, great miracle. Your own is there already. Check up, check up, check up, check up. Before we start praising, we are going to praise God tonight. Before we start praising God tonight, I want to discover your own miracle right away. And as soon as you, see, you begin to shout a loud hallelujah. If you have discovered your own miracle, say hallelujah. Right from the back, I want to hear you. Check up. Check up. Check up. The miracle is there. It's there. It's there. Don't say I can't see it. Check it. It's there. It's there. What you cannot do before, begin to do it now. Begin to rise up and begin to walk and begin to move. 
and begin to see, see the light as a blind man, look at, at, at test the person you brought, is, is lying down on the mat, ask him or her to rise up. The miracle is there. Don't go, no, go, no movement now. Please don't go anywhere yet. You want to listen to testimony tonight, and your home is there. Wait and give your testimony. Everybody, remain where you are. We want to see. We want to hear. We want to know what, what the Lord has done tonight. Immediately, the man of God made the pronunciation. Heaven confirming it is with you right there. Check it up. Check it up. Check it up. I'm waiting for the first person to shout hallelujah there. If you are shouting, shout it loud and clear. You discover your miracle, hallelujah. Shout it. Those of you online, we are waiting for you. Check up, check up in Europe, in America, everywhere, in Africa, anywhere in Nigeria, any, any city, any town where you gather together, the miracle of God is there already. Check up. I'm waiting for the person to shout there. Check it. It's there. It's there already. Tonight also, if you have given your life to Christ and you know it, that God has saved you, and you have been, maybe you have been attending the lunch hour every day, come out and testify. It's not only the healing alone. Even salvation, the greatest of the miracle, you can come and testify and say, I gave my life to Christ. I surrender myself. I'm not a child of God. Come out as well. Those of you who have been healed of paralysis, healed of I, I, I blind eyes, check up and shout and shout and shout. We are waiting, we are, we are waiting for you. Check it up. No movement. Don't go anywhere yet. Don't go anywhere yet. You need to listen to what God has done to raise your own faith, to develop your own faith, and to have the confidence God is going to do my own also. We are waiting for you. Shout it. Hallelujah. Shout it. Praise God for what God has done. If anybody shout around you, there, shout with that person and clap your hand there and begin to come forward. Begin to come forward. Counselors, you have gone, you are in the midst of the people, I suppose. Check out, check out all those who are lying down, uh, sick. Tell them to rise up. And as soon as they rise up, bring them here. We are waiting for you. We are waiting for you. Online, online testimony. If there are any, anyone online now, let me, let's, let, let's start with that. While you are checking your own here, we are going to hear testimony here tonight at the Alpha location. Because God of miracle, God of power has done it tonight. If you are also saved, you have given your life to the Lord, to Jesus Christ, maybe the day before yesterday, on Thursday, on Friday, on Saturday or today, you can come out as well. And say, yes, here am I. I'm a brand new creation. God, Jesus has saved me. My sins are gone. My sins are here. My sins are, are forgiven. On, on, we are going to hear online now. Let's hear online testimony first while we are getting ready on, at the Alpha location here. Online testimony now while you are checking your own here. God is moving. The power of God is moving. God is moving. I told you, don't go anywhere. Everybody st stay where you are. But shake up, shake up. Okay. The greatness of God online. As we're seeing great testimonies from people online. We begin with the testimony where in Calabar here across River States. I want to testify the goodness of God in the life of this my son. Standing here is my son by name Moses Adam Ephium. He developed the sickness from that the kidney will fail. So I was praying and say it will not. But on Thursday they, the tummy that was swelling up, he couldn't breathe. You cannot touch the tummy. If you touch, he will shout. Then I, he said, Mama, I am healed. I am healed. Look at me. I can breathe. Mama, I can breathe. I said, are you sure you can breathe? I now touch the tummy. I said, can you breathe? He said, I am healed. I can breathe. So that is why I'm pressing. Jesus. When I gave the doctor the reports of this, 
we now discharge him on that Friday. And that is why we are here. God will bless you. Bless our GS for the kidney that was paining me. Everything just vanished away. I say, let his name be praised in Jesus' name. Everything just vanished away. Your own too is vanishing already. Another one, all overseers, a region overseers, group pastors, please go to the left hand side and interview people already there waiting to give testimony. Another testimony from uh, online. Now we'll take you to Bahrain, where Abraham Ali connected, and he wrote on YouTube that God healed him of pneumonia that had persisted for years. He said, after the prayer of the man of God, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui, he got his healing instantaneously, and all the signs of pneumonia are completely gone. Glory to God. Put your hand together for Jesus. And from Bahrain, we'll bring you back to Nigeria, Benin City, at those dates where we have this miracle of what God did for this woman coming up on your screen at those states now. Hello. My name is Ms. Agnes Osorege from Edo State. By the grace of God, I was born again. I want to give testimony for what God has done for me. When I go to hospital, they say I have a liver problem. I tell my daughter, I say, my daughter says, no, they say they should not tell me. I ask my daughter, I say, they say I have, I say, it should not bother you. I don't pass that level. Devil cannot do me anything. I said, that very day for program, I said, I tell my daughter, I said, I'm coming to this place. But all the body pay. My daughter said, I should not come. My son said to me for Abuja, I said, I should not come. I said, I will come. Nothing will happen to me. I said, I come to this place. I said, our dad is praying. He said, everybody should put hand for what is, where is paying, paying you. I lay my hand upon the chest. Before I cannot do anything, I, my people know me for us today. I just thank God for the healing, exactly healing, deliverer God has given to me. That's why I come out to come and testify what God has done for me. I say, may the name of the Lord be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Instant, instant healing, instant deliverance, instant miracle. Your own is there with you already. Your own is there already. We are going to listen to testimony from the Alpha location now. Meanwhile, let Okaisa give us an appetizer now. We are starting testimony at the Alpha location. Okaisa, just one minute. Let's sing and rejoice. Let's sing and rejoice. But don't forget, come and we are waiting for you. You gave your life to Christ. You know you God has saved you. You can also testify. The healing, the miracle, the conversion, the restoration, they are all wonderful testimonies. Come out and share it. Sing along with the orchestra. Sing, sing along. Clap your hands and rejoice. Alpha location now. Praise. Praise the Lord. Once again, I'm Dr. Ola Ogoduwoli Dominic, consultant of the chest and the gynecology. Praise the Lord. I'm introducing Sister Richard Favor. He's going to give our testimony now. And as you listen, the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm here to testify the goodness of God in my life. As you see me like this, Christ loved me so much. I have severe sickness. 11 years. As Baba Jesus come here, he raised prayer on my head. He said, you sickness, I command you. 
vanish right now in Jesus' name. Like that, I just take heed. Praise thy Lord. The second one, I have five blood, bleeding two years. As daddy come again, daddy have come again in my life. I hear me. Jesus, thank you. Angel of God, thank you. Praise the Lord. Papa, just God bless Praise you. Praise the living Jesus. Thank Our you. Our sister thank actually you. have thank a severe you. life-threatening recurrent illnesses that actually necessitated a recommendation of termination of pregnancy. That's medical one when she was pregnant for the first and the second time. But she refused termination of pregnancy. And to the glory of God, she eventually carried the pregnancy to term and she delivered. And do you know what? Two deliveries after those ones were straightforward without any complication. Praise the Lord. Put your hand together for Jesus Christ. The I next testifier. You clap your hand very well. Give glory to God together. Shout amen. Another testimony. Don't go yet. Don't go yet. I have with me here Mr. Okem Samuel. Is a rotimony Nino or do twenty twenty seven during twenty 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 eight twenty eighteen twenty eighteen da omole or Tamilo do if but or Tamilo do. Brother, me te mon sise lo dore. Omu mi re ka kiri. Igba te ngomu mi re nye, ngomu mi lo do anwa ni se gunye. Ngoni anwa le se. Igba te mo te ngomu mi lo le nye. Ngose ti 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 koku. Oma damu mi nino oko te mban re bai. Udu mi oma man kbo yini gwa gbo ni. Te mban re bai. Te mban gu me chingo. Mama Subulori Mechini, Igbate Mogwa, Si Adoi, Ninu twenty twenty. Ne brother Meko, Loa Mumiwa, Si Crusade, Timoni, Ne Calaba. Igbate Mumi Debe, Timon Teba Bang Badra, Tony came off for all the Bitten, only problem, more for all the Emu. Tori emone kon ya tami to wu belu o dubai to du mi wu igbate mo fo omu keni e o si lo inri lara mi ni se mo ara mi wa la lafia they had um, uh, bites by what we call wolf gecko is a reptile he had a bite on the face that was four years ago and there was swelling of the face and the nose and he was carried everywhere, including you know, traditional herbalist uh, 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 centers. And to the glory of God, during the Kaleba uh, edition of GCK, uh, right here in Adwekiti, a brother invited her to church, and at the end of the day, he laid his hand on, the, on his face, according to the instruction by our fa Father in the Lord. And uh, after the prayer of the man of God, that swelling, and of course, and the issue and the pain, everything disappeared. Praise the Lord. That is the power of God to heal. The Lord has healed you. Continue with Jesus. And your healing will be permanent in Jesus' name. I hope you are checking out your, your own miracle. All over there on my right hand side, on my left hand side, far behind there. We are waiting for you. Come out immediately. They are waiting for you to give your testimony. We want to listen to what God has done for you, and we can rejoice together. Another testimony now. How we been here, Mrs. Ajayi Dubel? Praise the Lord. 
I'm here this evening to testify to how God delivered me from the oppression of the devil. Be, be, uh, this, my problem started some years ago. I started having bad dreams here and there, nearly every day. If I sleep in the afternoon, in the, in the evening, the same thing. So that one lead me to the power that is to be having fear. Even if someone talk to me, I'll be fearing. So that one leads to uh, one, one problem that uh, Baba used to mention. A snake-like object usually moves in my body. So when I sit down, I be feeling the, the breathing of that object at my buttock here. So that one uh, lead, uh, it brought a lot of setback into my, into my life, in all aspects of my life. But I thank God, by the power of God, and the GCK program that Ababa was, is doing. So I was listening to one of the old messages of the GCK. It is there as it seems as if I have never heard the voice of Baba before. Before then, when those problems was happen, and people used to take me here and there to people we help, but everything is in vain. Through the intervention of the brethren who we work together in a place, I gave my life because they invited me. I gave my life to the Lord. But now that snake-like object has stopped. Because when any part where it is in my body, that part will not work. And when it's left, left me, then the problem, sickness here and there we surely have bed tonight. The first night when we enter into this camp, that is how God delivered me. Those objects started moving away from my body, and that is how I totally delivered. Praise, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. She Moving object in the body you. disappeared. Yes. Another testimony. Check up your own. As you are hearing what God has done for others, your own is already there. Check it up. Come out immediately and testify. Another testimony now. The testimony that we are about to listen to will touch the heart of every one of us. This is a woman that has spent over two million naira to no avail. And at the end of the day, at the prayer of man of God, in last year, December the treat, she received her healing free of charge. You will receive your own tool in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. My name is Omon Ibeni Olufunke Olumu Iwa. April 4, 2019, I came back from work, so I, I was feeling so much pain. So I feel like a vomiting. The next thing I discovered was that I was vomiting blood. So that, that was how the problem started. So this vomit, uh, vomiting of blood some, sometimes will be uh, like a half bucket of, of uh, a half bucket. So I was now referred to several hospitals. So I was referred to Ibadan, to Abekuta and several hospitals, all to no have it. So I did this uh, endoscopy and uh, binding. I was told I would be doing it throughout my lifetime. And it's so very, very expensive and at the same time very, very painful. So when it got to a stage, I said, the, all the tests I did, negative. My husband now asked them to discharge me, that, that he would take me home. When we got home, we started praying, using so many things that we can use, but all to no avail. In one of the retreats, I had my bus uh, uh, December last year. So, and this thing has resulted into loss of memory. No, I could not talk. And even I, can, I, I, turned, I become an old woman, like 70 years old. So that time I prayed with tears in my eyes. I said, God, I don't have anybody to go to again. You have to heal me. And lo and behold, God did the miracle. Now, by the grace of God, I can eat everything. My tummy has come down, no pain again. Even all over my body, I receive total healing. Praise the Lord. Yeah, abdominal pain, debilitating, bleeding, peptic cancer, vanish at the prayer of man of God. Praise the Lord. Put your hand together for Jesus. 
God who has done this for you, for, 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 us, for our sister, is already at work in your own life. Check it up. Come here and give your testimony. Our God is good. Let's sing, let's sing with the orchestra. Let's sing with the orchestra. Sing with them and clap your hands. your hand together and rejoice and praise God. Next testifier is Sister Taiwo Akinsheye. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. I am Sister Akinsheye from the Secretariat Group. I want to give glory to the name of the Lord for what he did for my family. It's happened that in the GCK of November last year, my daughter fell into labor in the morning of that Sunday. So we went to Exus. So when we got there, they examined that and the doctor said that the child must be uh, operated, that the child has to be operated within one hour, that because he was not breathing well. So they said that we must do it. So along the lines, we are going to, to collect the, the blood, the blood group we did not get in, the, in their office there. So it delayed. So the boy, and I, the, my daughter started crying. And I told her, why are you crying? Wipe your tears. Our father, Baba Kumuyi, this Sunday is GCK Sunday. He's, the Lord is using him all over the world. People are testifying. Said, I know I will not live here with a dead child. That the God who sustained our father, he will keep this baby until the... Paul is doing it again. Next testifier. The next testifier is Mami Kone Timilei. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. My name is Bami Kole Timlein from Udo region. I want to bless the name of God, firstly, for the salvation of my soul. And secondly, God delivered me from headache yesterday. I've been feeling headache for a one week now. But yesterday it was so severe that I couldn't attend the program yesterday. I slept inside the hostel. But when the GS started the message yesterday, I came outside. But after the uh, this message from GS, he asked us to place our hand where we have problem. I placed my hand on my head, but yesterday I didn't feel anything, but I went back to hostel. I have faith in God that I received my miracle. But this morning when I woke up, I can't feel any headache again. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. The Lord is doing your own right there. The next testifier is Emmanuel Ajayi Timothy. Praise the Lord Church. Pray, Master Jesus. I want to use this medium to thank the name of Almighty God that has mercy upon me. My name is Emmanuel Ajayi Timothy from Kogi State. The Lord has delivered me tonight through the word of our pastor in the law. Our pastor mentioned the woman that had problem for 25 years. As our father is mentioning it and listening to the testimony, something just jumped out from my body. Pray, Master Jesus. This problem is since 18 years now in my body. The Lord has delivered me. Praise the Lord. Insanity of 18 years, God, in tonight, you will receive your healing in Jesus' name. Your own is on the way. Let's listen to the orchestra just one minute. We are going to go online now. I'm going to take another testimony online before we go back to our Alpha location.
online now. The greatness of God is still being seen online. Let's take you to the YouTube. From YouTube, we have this one coming from Monone Muyiwa. Uh, sorry for the name. It says, God visited my granddaughter during the global crusade. She has been having inconsistent monthly menstruation and, and uncontrollable flow anytime it comes. Hmm. But after the prayer of the man of God, it's changed, it's turned around, and now it's all normalized. Shopela Timitayo Tosi wrote, had a painful strain and back spine. And after the final amen of the prayer of the man of God, Jesus took it away completely. He wrote, Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Yes, and we have this one from Christian Owakwe from YouTube, who says that I've been having a serious pain in my left bicep. But after the prayers of the man of God tonight, I discover the pain is gone, and now I am free. We now take you to Southeast Nigeria, to the Federal Medical Center, where we just received this testimony of the miraculous work of God right in the hospital. Southeast Nigeria, Abia Broadcasting Live. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. My name is Mrs. Ikechu. I am from Umo Kulesia Mountain, Nisi Adapa North, Abia State. I'm married to Abon Bissi. Lodge in Abundance. Now, Pastor Kumu was minister during his recent crusade. He said, for those people, when he was mentioning names of sickness, he said, diabetes, anybody with diabetes, go out. I claim it by faith. Then my, my sugar level was 350. After that, I check it. It didn't come down to normal size. Praise the Lord. To 150. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. It came down to normal 152. The doctor reported that it normalized immediately. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We have this one also coming from the GS official Facebook page from Ajala Ido who says that, thank you, Jesus, for the life of my daughter. She's been having consistent seizures for 11 years. And because of this, she's been out of school. But after the prayer of the man of God, during the global crusade, the seizures talk. And now she is doing very well. She's made whole. And before we return to the moderating overseer, Taiwa Diola on YouTube wrote, I had stroke. And it was very severe. But after the prayer of the man of God, the Lord delivered me from stroke. The spirit of fear and anxiety tormenting my life all vanished. Praise the Lord. Esther Abia on YouTube wrote, I received my instant healing yesterday after the final amen. I've been having difficulty in breathing. But after the... Is Apanishile Bosedi. Praise the Lord. Me, Augusti, I am you, Damu, and Hospital. He been in what is often a quit in Bali was a program we could marry to Chile. Money, I Liraja. She gone back to the program, be more fear, you will fool this. But as a program, what if you only are yammy with the rich to Chile Mora and Uba? Praise the Lord. In next testifier, interpret it, please. Uh, sister got saved in this uh, crusade and uh, also the heart uh, problem that she has also she got healing during this crusade praise the lord praise the lord another testifier joy is is giving her testimony now Praise the Lord. My name is Joy Aze from Koli Region, Hospital District, Ekiti State. Yeah, I'm thank God, um, thank God, I thank God for how God has saved my soul. My testimony goes thus. 
I was suffering from chest pain for five years. But yesterday, I laid my hand on my chest and raised the other end up. And after the prayer of the man of God, I was ill. And immediately I sleep yesterday night, I wake up early. I did not find that problem again. Praise the Lord. Five years, palpitation and chest pain disappeared after the prayer of the man of God. Put yesterday. your hand together for Jesus again. Another testimony. Sister Francis Blessing gives a testimony now. Praise the Lord. I give thanks I, I give thanks God God for it. Modupe lo Olorun fun Olorun to da ojo oni ti mo wa si pagoyi. Modupe lori omo mi. Lino ligba ti mo